Hello and welcome back to the Wizard 101 Let's Play. Of course. Go tell Susie Griffinbane that the undead on Triton Avenue are being led by the Harvest Lord and that he has captured her brother. Did anybody else notice this? Go tell Susie Griffinbane, not Griffin. I have a feeling that if people actually start subscribing to my channel and they come back on this video, Kara is going to get bombarded. <laughs> My brother's been captured? We have to save him! Well, no, dear. Oh my god, the question. Oh no! I'll bet that when Arthur was scouting the haunted cave, the undead kidnapped him! He's probably at the Harvest Lord's tower right now! Man. Please, if you defeat the Harvest Lord, you'll not only save my brother, but you may stop all of the haunting on the street. Well, we're level 6 and we're going to kill the Harvest Lord. <laughs> I remember my first time. Uh, playing on my ice, actually. I died so many times trying to fight the Harvest Lord. I was level 9 and I didn't have Evil Snowman yet. Um, so it actually took, like, a friend and I to beat the Harvest Lord. That was kind of sad. But um, now, if I can just play it safe... So I don't actually have a large deck, and that is... Very good, actually, sometimes when you're fighting. Because if you have a smaller deck, that means. You can get the spells you want quicker. When you get the spells that you want quicker, um, you can win faster. <laughs> so, that is a thing. Grab this man this. There it goes. Plus three. Perfect. <laughs> um, ooh. Ah! You have been asked to enter a dungeon? To go inside, you will need to stand on that sigil next to the door. Once you activate the sigil, a countdown will start. When the timer runs out, anyone standing on the sigil will go inside the dungeon with you. Oh man, our first actual dungeon of this game. Okay, defeat the Harvest Lord and Triton Avenue. Level 6 Storm. I'm not done this in a storm at such a low level. <laughs> okay. In the back of the room, you notice Arter, Susie's brother. A bit to so, wizard, you too have uncovered Malastare's plan. Too bad you will have to remain here with the other wizard. The both of you will be powerless to stop us. That's not good. I don't know if it's just gonna read that second bit of dialogue, but if it does, then cool. <laughs> um, I think what I'm just gonna do is I'm the scarab and. I'm gonna quick drop the fodder, then I'm going to use bats a couple of times on the harvest roll. Okay, the minion's down. I, I haven't even taken any damage yet. <laughs> That's convenient. And yeah, they cast like minus 25% shields at this level. To make things slightly easier. Okay, this could be a sunbird if it is. Oh, it's a fire snake. Because there are a lot of mutated versions, or like, I like to call them remixes, of storm spells like. Lightning bats, um, there's fire bats and ice bats, the other things. Uh, with Colossus, there's fire colossus and storm colossus. Ice wyvern also falls on the same thing. Um, like, you can have the life imp, and then there's like the really overpowered myth imp. They're just mutated versions of a whole lot of spells. Um, Looks like next round we will have taken the, out the harvest. That's right. Unless we fizzle, in which case we might still die, but 
Okay. You will die this turn. And I jinx myself. Alright. Be fizzled too, so it's okay. Uh, let me just use my other lightning bats. Watch this end of fizzly too. It's going to happen. Okay, it worked. <laughs> I've got like not even level five gear. Thank you for freeing me, my friend. I feared that no one was ever going to find me. Please, go and tell my sister that I am safe. I know I have worried her so. May the winds of chance bring us together once more, wizard. All right. Well, that's a risk you'll have, and that I will take. That was not as hard as I thought either. <laughs> like, dude. Three. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I had so much trouble with that on a character that I had like 700 something health on. Here I am now, not even having to heal. And I dropped like just under halfway and I managed to get myself pulled in going for a mana wisp. Not to fear though, this button exists. <laughs> um, so, that's neat. Huh. The only problem is that we lose all our mana, which is rather unfortunate. Grab that. We should level up, actually, so I'm not going to grab any more mana. Okay. How much XP does this give? Uh, 245. And... Yeah, we're definitely gonna level from this, like right now. <laughs> um, let's hop on in to Triton Avenue. Okay, we are here. Going to Susie Griffin Bane. That team must have just finished something. <laughs> we'll gain all our mana back. You saved Arthur from the Harvest Lord? Thank you, young wizard. I don't know what I would have done had I lost him. Alright. So, mana refilled in three, two, one. There we go. <laughs> You'd better tell the headmaster what has He's happened here. That on. He needs to be informed on what's happening in Wizard City. Okay. Uh, that's about pets, which I don't think we're going to need. But grubs, that's something better. Definitely it's be accepting that. Assignment. Please come pick it up at the school. Oh yeah, that's right. We're level seven. We will be taking our first level quest, if you want to call it that. Uh, but first, I'm going to talk to Merle Ambrose. Commons, no, you're the guy who does fishing. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, we are here in Merle Ambrose's house or whatever. I have no idea. The office. By Bartleby, you uh, defeated the Harvest Lord? Oh, not many students can make that claim. Good work, young wizard. The Harvest Lord mentioned that he was helping Malastare. We need to find out what Malastare's plans are. If Wizard City is ever to return to the nice place it once was, it's hard to run a school with all the monsters running amok. Am I the only one who keeps hearing echoes? Many thanks to you for straightening everything out on Triton Avenue, young wizard. <sighs> I fear the worst is not over yet. Okay. <laughs> I want you to introduce yourself to Diego, the Duel Master. He manages the arena. The arena is just inside the entrance to Unicorn Way, on the right. Okay. <laughs> um, first, though, I do want to do this uh, quest for House and Bellstrom. Um, I'm not sure what it is that I'm going to be getting. Hopefully it's something good. Oh, like a 10% accuracy boost. <laughs> um, but maybe something good. Like, um, 
Prism is not what we really want right now, considering we don't really fight that many monsters with the resist. I uh, come to think of it, I think we actually get Stormblade at level 12. When people get Ice Prism. Like, get their Prism, so we're probably gonna end up getting a Prism like right now. So, you want to do some research, huh? Great. Librarian Harold Ogleston needs a Leyden Jar. He's been doing a lot of experiments lately. The task at hand is to build one. Go to Lady Oriole and get some copper for the lining. Okay. So, looks like we're just going to have to be doing a lot of running. Um, but yeah, I have not played Storm in quite a while. Uh, I actually want to take a few guesses as to what I think we're going to be getting. Because I know Death and Fire get um, their traps and blades. Like... Um, yeah, Death and Fire get their traps and blades both by level 7. I'm pretty sure Death Trap is what Death gets at level, like, after finishing and all that. That quest, which we got the plus 10% accuracy thing from. Um, and then Fire gets their blade, which is kind of ridiculous, because in the early game, Fire is not doing half bad. <laughs> Greetings, my name is Diego Santiago Corriquez Ramirez III, Champion Duelist. Well, that's a mouthful. The Duel Master bows with a great flourish of his cape. The arena is a wondrous place. Students come here to hone their skills with magic, practice against others, and gain endless glory and fame. To try your hand against your classmates, enter the arena and step into the Duel Circle. If you train well, perhaps you can develop skills to rival even the Great Malister, yes? What a duelist he was. He's the only person I would not want to duel in a real fight. Luckily, we only sparred for practice. Oh, speaking of Malister, did you know that he and Cyrus are twin brothers? I wouldn't be surprised if Cyrus was helping Malister with all this maze in Wizard City. You should tell Ambrose to keep an eye on Cyrus. All right. <laughs> One advantage of this massive amount of lag that I'm getting because I'm uploading is the fact that I can actually back away from people when um, when they try to give me like a side quest or some stupid stuff. So I think I might just play this when I'm uploading. <laughs> um, and if you're wondering where modded survival has been, because I, have, I haven't uploaded it since like December or something, I keep crashing whenever I try to open up my 1.7 Forge, which is what I run all my mods on. Um, I definitely should look back in my mods folder if there's something messing up, even though there shouldn't be. Um, but yeah. We are going to Lady Oriole for stuff and things. Yeah. Okay, we are in the hedge maze now. Okay. <laughs> Professor Halston Bailstrom needs some copper. Why, sure, I have some. Wish him good luck from me. Yeah. I probably should have used the home button, honestly. <laughs> um. But that's all right. Because so I want to get this quest done. I'm pretty sure it's Storm Prison, though. Um be entirely sure. Excellent work. Now, let me line the jar with copper. Finished! Okay, now you'll need to talk to Torrance and fill it with rainwater. You should know what to do from there. Ah! Oh, you are here to fill the jar with rainwater? Very well. We'll fill it up. 
That should do it. You can now give the jar to Librarian Harold Argleston. Wish him good luck for me. Yeah, talking trees. We've already been given a tutorial tip by Bernie back in episode like two. What is this Melori? I saw saw him or her in the bazaar like a little while back, but Diego thinks that Cyrus is helping Malastia cause all this trouble on Wizard City, eh? Oh, Diego shouldn't be spreading foolish rumors. Cyrus is a good professor. I trust him completely. I'm sure you heard that Malastia Drake used to teach at the death school. He was once one of our best professors, very powerful and compassionate. He loved discovering secrets of power. Now he's crazy about it. The only thing he loved more than power was his wife, Sylvia. May she rest in peace. If only she was still with us, things might be different. But even death cannot be undone. Speaking of issues Wait. concerning Malastia, one of his favorite students, a boy named Duncan Grimwater, can you inquire as to whether he has heard anything from his old professor? We need to know if Malastia has been contacting former students. Okay, so l let me look at that again. Um, yeah. It says, talk to Harold Archerson in Austerland. Like, I've been to Wintertusk, and I've been to Austerland, but... This has got to be some sort of bug. Because... There's only a library in, like, Croc and... Wizard City, and we're going to the Wizard City one. Because the quest arrow is just pointing straight to him. <laughs> Imagine if there's just some portal to Austerland that we just have to go through in order to progress. I don't remember seeing Arlston in Austerland anyway. Yeah, he's right here, and we can talk to him. This in is excellent. Just what I need for my experiments. Tell Professor Bailstrom thank you for me. Alright. Well, that's something. <laughs> um, yeah, yes. Upon further examination of this laden jar, it could use a good charging. Could you take this outside the library and charge it? Okay, so this is this is one of those like spell dance things, and I really like these. You hear a hissing deep within the earth. Oh man. Oh, I I have understood. So, you need that charged? I can help you with this. Okay. That worked. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Arl just in the still in Australia. Nope. <laughs> That's perfect, thanks. Tell Professor Bailstrom to <laughs> for me. Dead. Halston, Bailstrom, and Raven now. Uh, this quest is making even less sense now. Um, I'm sure it's just some sort of glitch. Or maybe it's just my lag. I have no idea. But the whole Australian thing, like, Dude, I haven't even been to Grizzleheim. I haven't even gone on that quest yet. This is kind of weird. Or we know. The Herald Arts for a second. Or maybe it fixes itself. I'm not even sure. I'm just dumb. I thought that said Harold Arl just said. So Harold Argelson liked the Leyden Jar. Oh, that's excellent news. But you ended up doing most of the work. Here is a little reward for you. Before Storm Prism. Yep. <laughs> Probably the most useless level 7. Uh, there it is, actually. Um, well, I think after this episode, I'm just going to go get more gear or something. What I'm going to do. I've already got the robe that I need. That's a pretty good robe at that.
As I think that at the end of it all, um, I might go for the Find the Smiths quest. However, in Crocotopia, there is a Find the Beatles quest. Okay, what is this badge? Drop the. <laughs> like, for real. Just drop the base. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I don't even know where she got that, but I'm getting it. <laughs> uh, let me actually check her level. Um, see if just anybody can get it. And level 82. Well, my main can get it. <laughs> um, yeah, my main can probably get that soon. Nice, rather. I like how there's just an at symbol up there. Yeah. A wand in the top right. Getting bottom right. And I'll just have my uh, spellbook constantly be inverted. I'm just gonna have it down on the bottom left. <laughs> to Duncan we go. Yeah, in the early game levels shoot by it like really fast. I'm pretty sure I started this episode at level six and beat the harvest where got seven and now we're almost at eight. So, headmaster's still worried about Malister. If you ask me, I think Ambrose needs to quit blaming Malister every time something goes wrong in Wizard City. Oh, Duncan throwing L's too. Oh man. <laughs> Malister Drake was such an inspiring professor. Most consider him to be the greatest necromancer of our time. He understood life's limitations and strove to face them unafraid. Ambrose has suggested for me to stop practicing the death arts. He even suggested I give life a try. Good meme. Ha! But I keep studying on my own. Maybe one day I will be as powerful as Malister. If you want to find out more about Malister, maybe you should talk to an old friend of his wife. You have heard what happened to Malister's wife, right? No? Oh, if you're interested, go talk to Gloria Krendel in Old Town and ask her about Sylvia Drake. Those two women were close. Bye. She could tell you more. Well, uh, if they were close, then I see why Malice there is just the main boss of the first shark. <laughs> uh, Kappa. Um, I should stop thinking like that. But, uh, let's go talk to Gloria Krendel, and I think after this, we are going to go ahead and end the episode. And then since we're so close to the bizarre, I think... Yeah, we're going to end off the episode, and then we are going to go and buy stuff. <laughs> and yeah, this is this is one of the smiths that I was talking about. I'll touch on the crocodile thing. You want to ask me about Malastare's wife, Sylvia? Oh my, yes. Hey. I knew her very well. She taught the life magic class before Mulinda Wu. Okay. I sure miss her. What happened to her was such a shame, poor dear. Madam Crindle becomes forlorn as she relives the sad memories. That's unfortunate. Say, there is something you can do for me, child. Would you go find the scrapbook Sylvia and I made together? It would mean a lot to me to have it back. I'm not sure how, but Sergeant Skull Splitter has it. Uh, could you go to his tower on Triton Avenue and get it back for me? This sounds like a side quest, but that's probably because of the level 10, I think, Gloria Krennel gives another side quest, but I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.